Hi, it's Dave Edwards. Welcome back to my periodic series on how to use Evernote as a way to uh, uh, make yourself more productive and to use a very powerful, powerful program. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I've been using Evernote for well over a decade. It has become my virtual brain. It's where I store all the information that I need to uh, run my business, to really keep track of my personal life as well. In our last episode, I showed you how to create an account, how to log in, and how to set up notebooks. Today, we're gonna to go just a little bit beyond that. We're gonna show you how to set up notes and how to use tags. All right, let's go back to my demo account so I can uh, take you on a tour. Where we left off the last time, we had created some notebooks and we had uh, labeled them. Uh, now I wanna show you uh, a few things about uh, creating a new note. So it's kind of hard to miss the big green button on the left-hand column, and that is how you create a note. You simply go over here, you create a note. You notice that it's untitled. It's asking you uh, for a title, and so let's give it one. Plan a new video. You're going to see what a bad typer I am, aren't you? Okay, so now uh, we've created this, and now we can begin... Uh, writing our text, uh, plan video, uh, call Bob, uh, check budget. Uh, so I'm just uh, I'm just writing a, a couple of quick items here, but in reality, uh, you know, you could go paragraphs and and whatever else. So this is how you basically create a note. Now notice something: um, it has automatically defaulted to create your note in your inbox. Remember, we set the inbox as your default folder. I think this is a great idea. It, it, it puts everything that you create in the inbox, and then later on, uh, you can go back and file it into the appropriate notebook if you, if you wish to do so. Um, now, you don't have to uh, immediately uh, put it into uh, your inbox folder. If you know, for example, that you want it to go into your business folder, uh, come over here and uh, where it says go to notebook, if you click on the uh, little icon to the right of the inbox, it says move note. You click here and it brings up all of the folders that we had created. So if we know that that video is going to have something to do with uh, my business, Dave Edwards Media. I simply click here and then I hit move, and it's no longer in my inbox. It is now moved to my professional folder. So now the next time I go to notebooks and I click on Dave Edwards Media, that note now resides in that notebook. Let me show you a couple of other really cool, uh, cool things while we are here. Uh, so let's say we do want to keep uh, these two items here as a list. Uh, all I have to do is highlight them. And now if I want to create a bulleted list, I simply go on this icon here, click it, and now we have bullets. Or if I want to have a numbered list, I can do that. Or check boxes. A lot of people like this because then when something is done, uh, they can simply uh, check it off. All right. Um, so that's how you do a quick note. Uh, but I want to show you one other thing uh, in notes. Last time in our first lesson, I talked about the benefit of having a lot of notebooks uh, focused on your major areas of responsibilities. But I also talked about creating tags. This is another great feature uh, of uh, Evernote. Because let's say, for example, if you notice here, we have this item called Bob. Well, let's say Bob is one of my staff members and periodically I have a planning meeting or a status meeting with Bob. Well, every time I want to meet with him, I'd like to get an update from him on this project. I don't want to have to scroll through all of my notes, but if I tag this note to Bob, then every time I meet with him, all I have to do is click on the tag and I will have all of the items that tag Bob in those notes. Let me show you what to do. So if you look at the very bottom, it says add tag. So I want to add a tag right here. And now I'm going to create a tag for Bob. So there we go. Bob's got a tag. Um, and, you know, really this check budget item, uh, this is uh, something that I want to talk to uh, my uh, to Mary, who's our business manager. All right. So now I have this note, even though it resides in the Dave Edwards Media folder, 
I could have notes in all different notebooks that relate to Bob or relate to Mary. All I have to do once I have created tags and have labeled a series of notes is the next time I meet with Bob, go over to tag and there is Bob. Now, every time I click on Bob's name, all of the notes that mention him will appear in my tag list. So when I sit down with Bob, all I got to do is go through this list of items and I have hit all of the items that I want to talk to him about. Um, if uh, So for example, I also set up a tag uh, for expenses. Let's say, for example, in this note, uh, there was an item that I want to make sure that I set aside. So the next time I fill out my my expense form, uh, let's say I have a ten dollar uh, printing expense. Uh, I could also attach the the uh, receipt right here if I wanted to. But now what I want to do is I want to say uh, I'd like to add this uh, to my expenses folder. Now when I bring up uh, all of my when I'm when I'm ready to do my uh, expense report, I come over, I hit tag. And now here in expenses is that very note again. So it's a very simple and direct way of uh, recalling notes that you will that you will need for a future meeting. Uh, once you have a lot of notes uh, around here, it, it's uh, it's a little bit more difficult to do searches uh, in the way I've described. But I want to point out that there is a very powerful search tool uh, that Evernote has. And all you have to do is type in a term or a phrase, and it will then list all of the items uh, in this panel uh, that match uh, that search item. But let me show you one other thing. It's one of my favorite things you can do with, uh, with Evernote. Now, let's say uh, you get an email from someone that you and you want to save that email in Evernote. You could cut or and paste it right into a, a, a note. But that would take some time. There's even a better solution. Evernote provides you with a unique web address so that you can forward the email into your Evernote notebox. Here's how you find your uh, your Evernote, your, your super secret Evernote uh, email address. Click over on the very top. You'll see your name uh, on the very top left corner. Click on that and then click on account information. And one of the things you will notice is an email address. It is unique to you. So of course you probably don't wanna give it out to a lot of different people. But now anytime you forward an email or send an email to this address, it will automatically go into your inbox. Cool, hey? If you have a premium or business account, you can forward up to 200 emails a day. If you have the basic or free account, you only get five free trial emails, so you can simply see how it works. There are so many more cool tips and tricks in Evernote that I want to share with you in future episodes. So please subscribe to the series. I'd love to have you aboard so you see them as I release them. And if you found this tip beneficial, please click the like button below.